If you've been interested in filming, then you know what this is. This is the DJI Inspire, the quadcopter that really changed the rules about what you can do with aerial photography. Now, this is a great craft. It allows you to take unobstructed views of everything you want to, but DJI decided that they needed just a little bit more, which is why I'm standing next to Romeo Durscher. He's the director of education at DJI, also quite an avid aerial videographer, who's going to explain how DJI just ratcheted up their game. Romeo, you seem to be clutching that case um, a little, little tightly. What's inside? Well, now it really is time to open up the case and look at the next generation of cameras that will go onto the Inspire One. And we are very proud to introduce the X5, Zenmu's X5 camera. The challenge has been that while this is already a wonderful platform that really provides some amazing aerial views and perspectives, it wasn't quite good enough. We wanted to push further and do more. And so we joined the Micro Four Thirds generation. And today we finally were able to announce that we now have a camera, in fact, two cameras that can go onto the Inspire and truly, that will truly take photography and videography to a completely different level yet again. Well, one of the things that I love about this approach is we all know that the Inspire is a great platform for videography. It's super stable. The fact that you can retract the drive pods out of the way means that you can get that 360 degree view with a camera on a gimbal. But uh, for a lot of people who are, who are just watching the show right now, they're saying, what did they have to do? Why did they have to do that? I mean, the camera on the, on the Inspire was pretty good as it was. What more can I do with a Micro Four Thirds? Well, that's a, that's a great question. And, you know, there will be people that say, OK, I'm going to be fine with that camera. And they can continuously fly with that. But then there's going to be the more professional photographer, the more professional videographer. And for them, Micro Four Thirds means better pixels, more and more images that really have uh, the range of, of colors and uh, it's, it's going to be exciting. Uh, Romeo, I know that you do a lot of these videos, some, some absolutely breathtaking videos. What are you looking forward to? What, what abilities will this new camera give you when you fly? That's a great question. I have already been flying with it, testing it, and uh, it really changed my way of going about it because up until now, uh, we had limited ability to control the camera. So now I can do focus while in the air. I can focus on a, an object close by or I can do infinity focus. That is already a big change. Um, I also have the ability of going up to 25,000 ISO and I have such a high range uh, that is all available through my app. So it really is your DSLR camera and the functions you're used to on the ground just now up in the sky. Uh, I think what we have to do now that we've inspired plenty of techno lust from our audience is tell them about pricing and availability. If they want to take play, play with the Zenmus Micro Four Thirds, when will they be able to get it and how much will it cost? The availability of the... So we have two cameras that will come out. The Zenmus X5, that will be available at the end of September. And then we also have the same camera, but in a raw version. So it will be shooting video raw in essence, giving the professional videographer even more power to do post-production that will be available in Q4. Romeo thank you so very much for talking to us and again thank you for doing what you do for shoot I wish you had more time to shoot video but of course you've got to spread the word about DJI. I'm Father Robert Balasair and the Inspire just got more inspiring. There's so much excitement over the micro four-thirds revolution that it's nice to see that get up in a drone now uh, brian we both fly drones and yes. I, I have to say when i was talking to some of the dji people the the integration that they do between the camera gimbal and the flight controller for the drone it actually allows them to do things that you can't do just by building your own I mean, you've got such a tightly integrated system that it it makes sure you get those smooth panning shots when you actually want the panning shots. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's pretty smart, but it's still, I still want to try. I want to try it. I want to try <laughs> It's definitely not an acrobatic quadcopter. It's not designed no. to be an acrobatic quadcopter. And the pricing is pretty severe. So it's yeah. 2200 for just the X5 alone. But that will give you the Micro Four Thirds mount that you can attach to your existing DJ, uh, DJI Inspire. If you don't have an Inspire, you can get the X5 with... As its own Inspire, that's going to cost you $4,500.
Now, we don't yet have pricing on the X5R, but consider what the X5R does. So it's, it's the same sensor, it's the same camera, the difference is that they let you record raw. There's actually an SSD, a 512 gigabyte SSD built into the base plate of the camera, which lets you have uncompressed 4K video. It's gonna be absolutely gorgeous, but from what I understand, it's gonna put the price up into about the $10,000 range. <laughs> well, I'm more than willing to try it out. <laughs> yeah, they'll send us one. We'll yeah, yeah, send us one, please. We'll, you know, we'll do them that favor. We'll do, we'll do them a solid.